I'm going to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my main thought was. Jake, I'd love to start with you first. Congrats on this movie, man. It is fantastic. It is great. So wild from start to finish. Uh, and I know you've obviously written plenty of movies before, but given that this is your directorial debut, what was it like finding that right balance of tone between the comedy of this story and the sort of paranoid thriller of it? The original pitch was like a, a comedic Jacob's Ladder, which I know sounds goofy. Um, but if I, I kind of felt like um, the big part of the tone was the cast. So like Mary Holland, for example, uh, who's the eldest sister, I'd worked with her a lot. I knew I needed her uh, when uh, Biff Whiff, when he became James, who was the first person I cast, I knew we were in really good shape. So I needed a few people who I knew, I knew, knew the tone kind of in, in their bones. And then everybody else would just kind of follow suit. And that's not to say other people also didn't know it in their bones, but I needed some, like I needed Mary to be able to be really mean to me, but still be funny. Because if that actress was really mean to Tommy and making him seem delusional and the audience didn't find her funny, then you're just on her team. And if Biff isn't a charming guy, then Tommy's a super weird guy for hanging out with him all the time. And so for me, I'm a, I'm more of an actor, obviously, than a director and acting is more of my love and I love actors and I love a good actor. And so I, I think tone is really about the right people and letting them do their thing. Well, you found a really great bunch and Biff, I'd like to come to you next. I mean, when, when Jake first approached you with this project and this idea, what were some of the thoughts going through your head about the movie and your character? I'm going to get a job. <laughs> that's what my main thought was i'm gonna be working i don't know i don't know uh what i'm gonna be doing but i'm gonna be working and i was real happy and i've watched jake from new girl a long time i even worked new girl one time we never worked together before but um I was just like, after all these years, like I tell everybody, it only took me 42 years to become an overnight success. <laughs> well, I love that Jake's continuing that ball rolling for you. What was it like developing the rapport with one another uh, for this movie? It couldn't have been, it couldn't have been better. I don't think, I think that we've become fairly decent friends and he's been always kind to me and uh has given me gave me complete freedom per, not complete freedom but a lot of freedom, lot of freedom yeah. working which i really appreciate um i like doing what i like to do rather than what somebody is telling me to do but um and he let he let me have that that kind of freedom and so uh, our friendship has grown out of that, basically. We could say anything to each other, and it's just, it's a pleasure knowing them. Yeah, I, uh, I love Biff. I also, I felt in directing this, uh, truthfully, a lot of times I felt like I was underwater and it was a little overwhelming. There was a lot of the stuff about directing that, even though I've, you know, been on a lot of sets and studied a lot of directors, it's a skill. It's a muscle that I, I didn't feel like I really had. And so when an actor could come in and crush the first take and that I now knew like a lot of people like Eduardo Franco, for example, who plays the ninja, his first scene where he wakes Tommy up, he and I joke about it now because we become buds too. And he would say like beforehand, he's like, what is the tone of this? And I'm like, dude, we got to do it once. I think I know what it is, but I don't know what it is with you here. And so when an actor, when you talk about the moms, the way like Nancy is with the family, she's my mom and Miriam with the Anna Kendrick scene where she's putting us in bed, that whole tone when she's walking out, which, you know, crushes, gets huge laughs. That was really her take. So this, I, I as a director, I didn't micromanage and I didn't say like, do it this way. I really wanted everybody to kind of do their version. And it's, uh, it's a credit to great actors the certain scenes, people are just crushing it. Like Emily Hampshire, Daryl Johnson, the family, Mary, like they're all just bringing it. I didn't micromanage any of them. I said, like, how would you react in this situation? If you want to improvise a little bit, do it. <laughs> if something feels right, say it. Yeah. I remember there was one point in that, in the dinner scene, 
where I was having a little bit of trouble with my lines. Yeah. And uh, I says, well, I'm just, I'm going to read these because I wasn't on camera. And Jake just took the script out of my hand, threw it on the floor and says, no, I want your real reactions. I, you don't need to worry about this script. Yeah. And I, that just like was an eye opener to me to where I was just saying, oh, okay, I get where we're going with this now. Yeah. And it was a, it was a uh, boon. Yeah. What what I love about uh, acting and what I love about being on set is not nailing exactly what somebody else's vision is. But now that we're all here together, including the crew, there's some magic right now. And so if if Biff was having a moment where he was worrying about his lines, then he's not in the moment. Right. Correct. That was a lesson for me. Well, Jake and Biff, I'm glad you got to have that partnership. I hope it continues in future movies because I'd Me love to too. see you. I'd love to see you more behind the camera, Jake, as well after this, because oh, you've thanks, done an incredible man. job. And, and uh, I see I'm out of time, so I will let you both go. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you, Grant. I appreciate you.